Hey guys, I'm Rich. Welcome to another Halo Reach action figure review. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Target exclusive Red EVA Male Spartan from the Halo Reach Series 4 action figure line. Now, here you can see EVA. It's the first time we've actually had a, a total EVA Spartan. Um, there's been a couple different armor sets in Series 4 that come out with the EVA helmet, but this is a Spartan that's just EVA, and he comes with a sniper rifle, which is sweet because this is the second figure to, own, to come out with a sniper rifle for Halo Reach. So awesome. Um, if you don't know that the uh, sniper rifle here can be easily held by the uh, either hand that you want to you know, make your Spartan hold it, um, but you do want to be a little bit careful in getting the second hand to hold about right here. Uh, you can kind of stretch the hand open a bit, just saying there's a little bit of tension and everything. Uh, this sniper rifle does come with a weapon peg right here, you can see. Um, these are removable. Sometimes they're a little stuck like this one is. There we go. Um, but they are removable. And the whole purpose of having one of these things, if you don't know, is your Spartans here have several peg holes on their body. You have one on the left thigh, the right thigh, right here, and then one on the back. The purpose of that is that you can take the weapon peg, plug it into the weapon, and then take the combination, plug it into the back of the Spartan or on the thigh or something. Boom, there you go. Awesome. Um, sometimes the pegs come off just like it did right now. And all you can do, I mean, if you can pinch it out uh, with your fingers, or you can use pliers. Either way, so it's not a big deal that that's stuck. I can get that out. Uh, sometimes they do get stuck the first couple times you use them. Anyway, on the back here, this figure also comes with a frag grenade. Look at that, the human frag grenade. You can't really see it because it's so tiny. And it has two butt pegs. Um, so you can take that grenade and put that on the butt pegs. I still prefer the left. Anyway, paint job of this figure, pretty good. Uh, when I opened it, I noticed it seems a little different. I'm not exactly sure how to, to describe it. It's doesn't feel the same, I guess, is kind of what I'm, I'm thinking. I don't know what kind of sealant or anything they used on it, but it just doesn't feel the same as some of the other figures. Not in a bad way, it just, I'm not exactly sure. But the paint job is still great. All armor is interchangeable as always. You can just pop the shoulder pads, the chest, and the helmet off. They just come right off and you can swap them with other Spartans, which is great because you can use different armor packs and stuff such as the Target, ooh, gosh, bump my camera, Target exclusive armor pack that came out in Series 4. So all this armor is interchangeable with this guy and, of course, any other color. So, boom. Um, now, problems with the EVA is a little bit there. The EVA helmet, it seems to me to be a bit small. Uh, if you look at it like this compared to the rest of the body of the Spartan, um, yes, I know that when you have armor, it's going to make the, the, the person inside of it would appear larger because he has armor on now. That makes sense. But that helmet seems to me like you couldn't really get a human head in there. You know, if if this were a person, how would you fit a face in there? I don't know. Maybe the EVA helmet's supposed to be a bit smaller. I'm not sure. But that is something worth noting. Um, I know other people have mentioned that the ODST helmet uh, does appear a bit small too, the Spartan ODST helmet. And I've got to agree with them. It does appear a little small. But what are you going to do? Anyway, that's the only biggest downside about this figure. I mean, it looks great as a figure, but when you think about it, is there a person inside of this? You know, if he was removing his armor and stuff, what would his fit, you know, would he be able to fit his head in there? That's kind of the things I think of. But anyway, articulation standard, I'm not going to cover that. Uh, not because I don't want to, just to help shorten the length of this review. Uh, so paint job's great. It is a Target exclusive, so you should only be able to pick these up at Target. Um, somebody told me otherwise, so they're, I don't know. But anyway... Um, I'm going to give him a 5 out of 5, though. I, I don't really care so much for the helmet, but as far as the figure goes, it all works. And it comes with a sniper rifle. That's great. The only other figure to come out with a sniper rifle currently, or in the past, would be Jun from the campaign, the sniper Spartan. Uh, so he was the only other one who had the sniper rifle. So that's cool. Makes it the exclusive all that much cooler to pick up. You know what I mean? Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, comment down in the description, uh, the description, in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think about this. Not just for me, but for everybody else who comes by and reads this to be able to kind of see what everybody else is thinking. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, have a good day, and uh, bye.